Let's talk about MBD. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are going to be talking about a topic that is super, super, super important in keeping of reptiles. It is a sickness that the vast majority of reptiles can get and something that we can actively prevent that is super easy to prevent and that is MBD. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this super cool company. Let's get started. So first of all, what is MBD? MBD stands for metabolic bone disease. And like I said at the beginning, this is a sickness that basically all reptiles can get. However, it is most common in lizards and turtles. This sickness, happens when for some reason your reptile cannot properly absorb calcium and that inability to properly absorb calcium translates into things like softening of the bones or easily broken bones and it is caused by many different things it can be caused by improper lighting improper lighting placement like if you have a uvb light on top of glass uvb light cannot penetrate glass it can be caused by them not having the appropriate amount of calcium in their diet or consuming too many foods that bind calcium which would prevent them from absorbing it properly it could be caused by them not having enough vitamin d in their diet which helps them to absorb calcium so that would come from either again inappropriate uvb lights or just not having enough vitamin d in their diets this is why it's important that we dust feeders with vitamin supplements as well or it could be caused by having too much phosphorus in the diet too much phosphorus also prevents the proper absorption of calcium and that is why it's very important to make sure that you are feeding different sorts of bugs to your reptiles so that way you aren't feeding them a whole bunch of bugs that have a high amount of phosphorus i will put a little list right here of some phosphorus to calcium ratios of common feeders. This also is listed on the bearded dragon vegetable list that I will leave down in the description below. They list the phosphorus to calcium ratio of different safe vegetables for bearded dragons. So let's talk about the signs of metabolic bone disease. This is going to vary greatly depending on how advanced the MBD is. So in the early stages, you might see things like a loss of appetite, a loss of weight. You might notice that they fall from somewhere that they normally jump from and they break a bone or they appear weak. They may appear like they don't want to get up from laying down. They may have developed an underbite or an overbite. And then as it advances further, their bones will start to soften or their shells will start to soften. Their arms may bend different ways, not just an elbow bend, but an entire curved arm or leg. You may start to notice kinks or twists in their spine or in their tail. You may notice that maybe your beard dragon or your leopard gecko isn't as big as they should be. Their growth has been stunted. You may notice tremors when they try to move their feet or their arms and legs may shake. They may have seizures. Turtle shells may just be completely disfigured. Advanced metabolic bone disease is very, very obvious. You can just look at these animals and just know that animal is sick. There is something going on with that animal. Metabolic bone disease does not get better on its own. It is something that needs to be treated so we don't get to that point. But before we talk about treatment, let's talk about prevention. How do you prevent metabolic bone disease? It is super, super, super easy to prevent metabolic bone disease. Number one, make sure that you know what kind of setup your animal needs. This is why research is so, so important. Make sure that they have the proper UVB lighting. That's gonna give them the proper amount of vitamin D so that they can absorb calcium. Make sure you are dusting your reptile's food in calcium and or vitamin powder appropriately. Again, make sure you are feeding appropriate foods. Check those phosphorus to calcium ratios to make sure that what you are feeding is good and feed different bugs. Don't just settle on one type of bug and only feed that bug. Sprinkle other ones in because a variety is the best way to ensure that they are getting a healthy diet. And a really big one, make sure to give extra calcium or extra calcium rich foods to gravid females. It takes a lot of calcium to grow eggs. 
eggs leach a lot of calcium from reptiles bodies so make sure that if you have a female that is gravid or has just laid eggs you are giving them extra calcium you can even add in like a liquid calcium if you want black soldier fly larvae are awesome for this normally you don't have to dust them in calcium feed them black soldier fly larvae that are dusted in calcium make sure you are giving them extra calcium if they are growing eggs or have just had eggs. Metabolic bone disease is super, super easy to prevent, but the reason that so many animals end up getting metabolic bone disease is because people just don't know exactly what they're supposed to be doing in caring for reptiles, which is super important. It is the reason that research is so important. It is the reason that I make these videos to try to help people that may not know how important things like lighting and supplementation and food choices are. If you think that your reptile has metabolic bone disease what do you need to do take them to the vet super super important without being treated metabolic bone disease will get worse and worse and eventually it will kill your animal if it's not treated metabolic bone disease is a very painful terrible terrible way to go their bodies are failing them we don't want that for our animals so obviously the sooner that you catch something like this the better the better outcome that they'll have a lot of reptiles that reach those advanced stages with the kinks and the twist those never really heal they thicken up they strengthen those bones strengthen but they never heal but if you catch it when it's super early they can just go back to being happy, healthy reptiles that live completely normal lives. When you take them to the vet, the vet will x-ray them and do a physical exam. They will also go over with you all of your housing for that reptile. They'll ask you about the lights, they'll ask you about the diet, they'll ask you about all of those things and try to make a plan to fix things that need to be fixed. And then of course they're going to create a proper treatment plan for your animal, which is going to include based on the severity, injection injections and or oral supplements. There is absolutely no shame in taking your animal to the vet if you think that they are sick. Mistakes happen, things happen, and the best thing that you can do in that situation is to figure out what that mistake is and fix it. No one is going to judge you for that. Everyone in that situation is just going to want to see your animal be as healthy as they can be. So please do not feel any shame if you have to take your animal to the vet for that. You are helping them get better. But that is it. That's all I have for this video. Hopefully it was helpful in helping you either figure out if your animal had metabolic bone disease or in helping you to prevent metabolic bone disease in your animal. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is a super cool place that makes conversion kits for reptile tanks, just glass tanks that you may have laying around and they allow you to convert them into front opening tanks. These are especially awesome for things like nocturnal geckos and tarantulas and any kind of just nocturnal lizards. These things are awesome, super high quality, last such a long time. I absolutely adore these kits. They make making a really nice front opening tank very quick and easy. If you happen to order one of these kits from I Heart Geckos, make sure to leave Ellis Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box. That way they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to I Heart Geckos for continuing to sponsor these videos. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put on a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here, and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and following, and subscribing, and commenting, and sharing, and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Yes. It can be caused by not giving your by them not having the appropriate amount of calcium. It can be caused by them not having the appropriate. Mm -hmm. it, can it can be caused by. so that they can frog. You are...